A fisherman in the Gulf of Mexico hauls in an odd catch. They're dogfish up on the west coast, but they're quite different than, <laughs> than the one I caught. Saturday, January 7, 2012. Web developer and recreational fisherman Rory O'Connor is in Sarasota, Florida, visiting his parents and spending the afternoon fishing off of Siesta Key Beach. While in the water, O'Connor often mounts a portable video camera to his kayak. If I fish alone, if I catch a big fish, nobody's going to believe me. <laughs> Plus, I can brag to my other kayak fishing friends, hey, look what I caught. But O'Connor has no idea of the heartbreaking fish story his camera is about to catch. He's been out for a few hours when he hears something, but this is no fish. And I looked over my left shoulder and I saw a dog. My first thought was, oh, why, why is he coming straight at me? You know, I was a, a little worried he was going to try to, you know, attack me or something. But as he got closer, uh, I could tell he was really in distress. Um, just by the look on his face. I knew he needed to get out of the water, so I just grabbed him by the collar and hauled him onto the back of the kayak. I have this little uh, milk crate that I keep my fishing gear in, so I went over to the nearest boat to ask them if maybe they had lost a dog. You didn't leave the dog, did you? You just kept swimming up. No one on the boat is missing a dog. The mystery of the swimming dog only deepens when O'Connor paddles to the nearest shore point. Uh, Walked him down the beach and asked people if uh, they lost a dog, and everybody looked at me confused. I didn't know what to do. I knew this dog needed to go to a vet because um, he was he was bleeding pretty bad. He calls his sister Kira for help. She also lives in Sarasota, and by coincidence, is at the beach just a few hundred yards from O'Connor and the mystery dog. The dog appears to be a purebred Hungarian Visla, and they conclude he must have an owner. Kira takes the wounded retriever to a vet, where he's treated and scanned for an implanted microchip. It turns out the dog has one. For security reasons, they are told only that the dog's name is Barney. That night, O'Connor posts his encounter online. I thought, this is interesting. I'm just going to cut this into a little, little video and put it up and just show my friends. Here's a weird thing that happened. That I was out fishing and a dog swam up to me. Earlier that same day, while O'Connor is out fishing, semi-retired emergency physician Dr. Wellington Chen of Siesta Key, Florida, gets a visit from police. Obviously, when the police are at your door, you always wonder if you did something wrong. He is told the gut-wrenching news that his wife of 26 years, the mother to their three children, 53-year-old Donna, was hit and killed by a drunk driver. Some friends of ours actually had witnessed the accident and said that she had been walking or running the dog. And uh, obviously we knew that he was missing at that point. We assumed he'd been hit by the car as well. It's undetermined if Barney's injuries come from the drunk driver and why he is found more than three miles away from the scene of the crime and a half mile into the ocean. Later that evening, authorities reunite a battered and bruised Barney with the Chens. A Sarasota family is grieving tonight after a mother was killed by a drunk driver while jogging with her dog. The following day, a stunned Rory puts the pieces of the sad story together when he watches a local newscast. This woman had been killed in a hit-and-run DUI, and she was with her dog. So for us, that, that was all proof we needed. 22-year-old Blake Tallman of Bradenton was driving the car that hit Donna. According to state troopers, his blood alcohol level was nearly three times the legal limit. Authorities say Tallman had just crashed into another car and was fleeing the scene of the accident when he struck Donna and Barney, altering the Chen's lives forever. Tallman pleads not guilty to multiple charges, including vehicular homicide and driving under the influence. He is currently awaiting trial. It's a devastating experience to have to go through that. I've had to assume the duties of both being the mother and the father. And uh, certainly there's a lot of psychological trauma that's going to have its effect over years. Sheriff's deputies report seeing Tallman drinking with friends on the beach prior to the fatal accident. <laughs> drinking is legal on Siesta Key Beach. Dr. Chen is on a crusade to change that. 95% of the beaches in the state of Florida, and in fact, across the country, don't allow alcohol or public drinking. 
had petitioned online, we've had discussions with the county commissioners. I don't think the residents here want to have alcohol associated with our beach. It would certainly be a tribute to Donna, help us feel better about her death if those laws could be changed. Once O'Connor knows the whole story, he updates his post on YouTube. I updated the notes on it so that people could see that it was resolved, not in a real happy way, but it was, the mystery was solved anyway. Rory and Dr. Chen have met a few times since that fateful day, and the video has given Dr. Chen a bit of solace. To see how it happened and how he was rescued and to read people's comments about it. You know, as far as I've concerned, Rory's a hero. I feel lucky that I was there um, at that time to be able to um, at least get their dog back to them. That's the time you need your family pet the most.